Hello everyone, Ruhi Sinat here. The temperature in the coldest city on the planet goes down to below negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I realized that the windows of our plane had already freezed before touchdown. Welcome to Republic of the Today the air temperature is negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit. I will conduct 8 experiments in this freezing cold from a subjective perspective. Can the liquid of an egg carry its shell? Or can the noodles hold a fork in the air? We set up a simple system to fix the fork as we could not hold it with our hands due to shaking from the cold. People cannot wear metal frame glasses here because the metal could stick to their skin. And if they wanted to take off their glasses, their flesh might be teared out. This is a piece of meat that looks very much like human flesh. I was wearing double gloves. I took off the larger one because I want to use my fingers. And this glove has already started to freeze. My hands are very cold now. What we saw in a few minutes reminded us again that this place is an ice hell. Everything freezes here. Let's take it off now. You see it guys? Frozen solid noodles can hold the fork in the air. See that? <sighs> It looks unreal. Just imagine, you're taking off your glasses after a routine day and the metal frame of your glasses kills your skin from a very vital point where there are plenty of veins. Just like this, it is incredibly cold, beyond human nature. The ice on the sidewalks has to be broken and cleaned every hour. The statues on the streets are made of ice since they won't melt for months. People put carpets to the entrance of each building to avoid falling on the slippery floor. There are usually three doors in the entrance of buildings in order to prevent cold weather from entering. Doors are positioned diagonally in our hotel. This is a place where schools don't get cancelled until the temperatures aren't below negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Whereas in some of the other places in the world, they are sometimes cancelled when it is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 50 is quite normal here. Children go out and play if it is around negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit here. That means spring has come for Yakut people. Let's make a balloon experiment now. How about freezing them and play bowling with them later on? How long does it take for this shirt to freeze completely? Let's wait and see. Since the shirt was wet, my gloves also got wet and they are about to get frozen completely. My fingers are hurting from the cold. I guess I better not wear them, but it is a bad idea to be without gloves. Bare hands start to hurt a lot in just 20 seconds and don't underestimate the pain. If I left my hands outside for 20 minutes, I will completely lose them. It is called frostbite. My ear was swollen when it was left outside for only 3 minutes in the previous video. My eyelashes are already frozen. Air temperature is around negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, how to play bowling without spending any money? As you can see, I fill the balloons with water. If I peel them, I will get ice balls, just like this. I have also kept plastic bottles in the snow, and now I got bowling pins. See it guys?
Can you believe it? Look at that. Is this real? <laughs> Look at the hole and where I hit it. Yeah, this is the situation which my gloves are in after the frozen t-shirt experiment. This was my hands position while holding the bag. Gloves remain just like this when I was taking them off. My fingers were in these gloves. It doesn't bend at all. It's frozen. Yeah, it holds itself. It is a regular bath towel. Can we make a sled out of this? It is boiling water. Outside temperature is around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling water is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. As you see, it instantly turns into ice crystals. The weather here is that cold. And this is how our uncovered body parts feel in a short time. If you're not experienced enough, you could lose your limbs here, even if you think that you are careful. Walking from a place to another place is almost impossible here. If you are 20 minute walking distance away to your destination, it will take almost one hour for you to reach there, as you would have to warm yourself approximately every five minutes. People here usually get into banks or supermarkets while on a walk, rest and then continue. Our sled is ready! Do it again. I left the banana out for a while. I think it got hardened like a hammer. People here can even use frozen fruits as hammers when they need to. So, here's the proof. You won't see this every day. of frozen fruits and meats. Some Yakut people keep one room in their house empty and don't heat it. Since the room is as cold as outside, they use it as a large freezer that won't cost electricity. As you see, the first room of this house is the freezer room in the entrance. One, two, three. Our bag got wet while doing the water experiment. It only took like two minutes and this is already frozen solid. Look, it was only a few drops of water. I'll just carry it like this. This is how everything freezes. So, Yakutsk is the capital of the Republic of Saha. Total population in this city is around 300,000. In the whole autonomous region, it is around 1 million. But only around 2,000 foreigners come here annually and they usually come for business. The businesses are usually about the natural gas resources and the diamond mines of the region. One of the most asked questions is, what is it like to be here in the summer season? The average daily temperatures in June, July, August are 61.5, 67.1, 59.4 degrees Fahrenheit respectively. The daylight comes down to 5 hours in winter while the sun does not set for about 20 hours in June. The thickness of the ice under my shoes is about 100 foot. And this ice mass under the city does not melt even in the summer. Even when the temperatures are above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This is called permafrost, which stands for permanent frost. There are two types of playlists on my channel for now. The first one is called Rediscovery. 
which is a travel documentary series. I go to unique places which are not known to many and make a documentary about them with a comprehensive approach. The second one is about personal experiences such as this one, where I look at the matters through a subjective perspective. I would also like to thank my team for creating this project with me. So, see you in the next one.